What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this text effect in Cinema 4D. Now for this Cinema 4D tutorial, you guys need Cinema 4D R19 or higher, and you guys do not need any plugins, which is really nice. Go ahead, check the link in my description, and you guys can go ahead and get a free material pack and a free Lightroom. And if you guys want this exact project file with all five text effects, then go ahead and join my Patreon. It is $5 a month, and you guys will get a bunch of free project files, Lightrooms, and materials, etc. I'll also be covering the other text effects on my Patreon as well, so if you guys want to see the other text effects, go ahead and join my Patreon. But with all that being said, guys, let's get right into the video. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and click MoGraph, click Mo Text, and go ahead and change the text. I'm going to do free in all caps with an exclamation point. Go ahead and change the depth to 80 and the subdivision to 10, just like so. Go ahead and align this to middle, and you guys can go ahead and change the horizontal spacing if you guys would like. I'm going to put this at 5, and then for the font, I'm going to go with Cunha. I'll leave a link in the description to Cunha if you guys want to download it, it's completely free. So from here, go ahead and click caps, and change these both to fill the caps, and put this, put the steps at 2, the radius at 2 for both of these. Come down here where it says end guns, click quadrangles, check this box, and put the radii, the width down to three. So what this does is essentially, if I go to ground shading, um, it just adds geometry to the text, which is what we need for this effect to work. So I'm just gonna go back to ground shading. Now from here, what you wanna do is go ahead and click right here, get a displacer, go ahead and put the displacer into the text, just like so, go to shading, Click this arrow, click noise, and go ahead and change the global scale to 300%, just like so. And then from here, what we can do is go ahead and increase the contrast a little bit, just like that. You guys can also go ahead and change the C, just cycle through these. I'm going to go with 667, this one looks pretty good. Now, ooh, I'm going to put this back at noise. Just like so. Now from here, what we want to do is go ahead and click the text and go ahead, go to MoGraph, go to Effector and go to Random. And then go to Parameter and uncheck Position and go to Rotation and just go ahead and rotate this a little bit. Just like so, uh, like that, do something like this. This and a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is go to MoGraph and go to Voronoi Fracture. You guys need R19 or higher for this. It might be an R18, I'm not entirely sure. Just go ahead and drag this into the uh, Voronoi Fracture just like this. Click the Voronoi Fracture, go to the sources, go to Point Generator, and go ahead and type in 500, just like so. And you guys can go ahead and come out of the camera just like so. And if you guys don't have a camera, what you guys do is you just click the camera, and then you go to coordinates, and you put everything to zero, except for the Z, just like that. And then you guys can go ahead and, if I uh, go ahead and hide this, if you guys go into the camera, you guys can move the Z as well to kind of zoom in a little bit. And then once you're happy with the camera angle, you just go right click Cinema 4D Tags Protection, and now you cannot move the camera at all. You guys just have to click this button. Yeah, it's in, move freely with alt so that is how to set up a camera if you guys do not have one set up we're gonna go ahead and just turn this back on and go back to the camera i'm also gonna go ahead and move this down just because i like it centered uh just you know preference just like that actually maybe a little bit low so from here what we want to do is go ahead and click the Fortnite fracture go to mograph effector and go to random and then go ahead and go to the effector and change it to 7% looks pretty good. Um, you guys can also go to Fortnite Fracture, go to MoGraph in the effector and do push apart as well. And just change this down to like 3%. If we go ahead and do the radius, you guys can go ahead and move this a little bit closer if you guys would like and just mess around with the strength. So just kind of find a sweet spot, um, but I'm going to be using random for this. And I'm gonna put this about 10% actually. Alright, so from here, 
what we can do is go ahead and duplicate the one fracture. And I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, control S to save and also go to file, save and rental. This will save a backup so that if your computer or if your project file crashes, um, you guys have a backup to work with just because it has crashed a couple of times before. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and click the one fracture and grab an atom array, hold down right here, grab an atom array, and put the Voinari fracture into the atom array, and then go ahead and click the atom array, and type in one for the sphere radius, and it should automatically change the cylinder radius as well. And just like that, we have the basic effects. So I'll go ahead and click right here to render, and this is what it is looking like. Now, all we have to do is drag the materials on, so, I believe I did a blue one for the atom ray, just like this. Go click cubic and seamless, and I believe I did a silver one for the main text. So iron four. Go ahead and click cubic and seamless, and again I'll leave a link in the description to materials. They're not these exact materials or this exact light room, but they are very similar. What you guys can also do is go ahead and go to the Voronoi fracture. Um, the one with the um, second material, the one that's not really showing up as much, and just go ahead and go to Displacer, and then click the uh, shading. And what you guys want to do is just offset the global scale by like 2%, and as you can see, even 1%, it kind of shows up a little bit more. So it kind of helps show a little bit more of the material in there. So if we go ahead and render this out, you guys can see there's a little bit more of the uh, metal material in there. Um, but what I want to do is just go put this back to 300% and then move this um, up a little bit. Not too much. Just go ahead and move it back a little bit more just so it's barely sticking out. So something. Go ahead and click the text instead of the displacer. And this is going to be a little bit laggy, just like this. Just so we get a little glimpse of it, maybe even more back. I think something like that might actually be good now. Yeah. And go ahead and render this out. And just like that, we get a little bit of the silver popping in and out. So that's basically it for the tutorial, guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what other Cinema 4D tutorials you guys would like to see. And with all that said, guys, it's been Instinct signing out for now. Peace.